separation. Right now you are looking at the anterior or the outside of the heart. Notice this area here separates the two halves of the heart. We have the right ventricle and the left ventricle. Let's take a look at that. inside the heart, you can always determine the right side from the left side based on the thickness. If you look right here, notice you have a very thick wall between this side of the heart and the edge. Over here, you have a very thin wall. The thick side is always the left side of the heart. So here, we're looking at the left side of the heart. Here, we're looking at the right side. Right here, you're going to see the left atrium and the left ventricle. The right atrium and the right ventricle. Let's take a closer look. Right here, you know that this, this is our first major blood vessel. This is called the aorta. The aorta leads into the left ventricle. Here, we have the left atrium. The left atrium leads outside right here. The left atrium is the second blood vessel we're going to talk about. The pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins is the blood vessel that goes through the left atrium. The third major blood vessel is on the right side of the heart. The right atrium leads to the third major blood vessel, which you can see right here, in the cava. Again, leading into the right atrium. The fourth major blood vessel is actually better seen over here on this side of the heart. Again, we're looking at the right side. And if you look right here, we have our fourth major blood vessel, which is the pulmonary artery. The pulmonary artery travels into the right ventricle. So we have the pulmonary artery, which leads into the right ventricle. Also on the right side, we have the vena cava, Thank you for joining us in the sheep heart exploration. Again, looking at the outside.